story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. I got a Feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy, and today I'm going to show you how to get the library card and the envelope off the back of the page that's been glued into the book. Now it's sometimes you've got a tiny little edge that where they've not glued it down and sometimes it's glued all the way. This library card has been in our possession since 1982. Now this would have been our younger son's uh, book from school days. Uh, it was found in our stash the other day. I don't know how it ended up there, but we've got it. And I've now got myself a, a um, original little pocket and a library card to go with it. So I can pass this book on to our grandson now, who loves being read to every night. So I'll show you how I got this off without damaging, other than the back, this little envelope. Now here's an example here. I'm going to actually even try to get this sticker off as well. But this book here was, both of these books were in my mum's things. And this one here has just got a tiny little bit, as you can see there, just that tiny little bit there. And that's glued right down there. That's just stuck at the top. I could try and take that off first and then that, but I'm going to leave it there just so that it stays original. Now I'll show you this one as well. This one's a, got a bit more edge to it, so I can get under there a bit better. So what happens when you try to take it off? You start ripping the pages. So the back of this page is good enough for me to use somewhere along the line in a junk journal. So I didn't want to keep pulling at it and destroying it in case it ripped all the way through to the other side. So I'll do this one first because it's the easier of the two. So I use a product. I've shown you this product before. It's called Undo. In Australia, I got this from Bunnings. It's very easy to buy. I've seen it online as well. So have a look for it. It is so useful. I use it a lot. I use it on my stamps to get stamps off the envelopes. And that's what I've done the video on. So I'll just protect my work surface. You would think that I'm going to do this. This is the sticky tape that was on there. I'm actually going to leave that there and see if I can um, get a, an original look with that. You would think by putting this on here, I'm going to wreck the pages and wreck this, but it actually evaporates and you can't tell that it's been there because this was soaked in it. And you can see possibly a very faint line, which will uh, add to the age of it because it is oh, 20, 38 years old, this little envelope, 38 years old. So we can get away with just a little tiny watermark if you like. So it's got a scraper on it here which is ideal for getting in under there. So let's just get to it. When you tip this up the liquid goes into the little spoon area and then you use the scraper to push into the, the uh, glue that's at the bottom. Now take your time. It is something that you can't rush. And if you see it starting to get wet there, don't worry about it. Just keep going. And just gently start pushing the glue away. It dissolves the glue pretty quickly. So use a scraper, it's really good. Up 
I've also found slicing it like that works good too rather than pushing it like that. Turn it around and come from the other side. So this one I don't have to wet too much. It's the glue has perished and it's not holding down very well at all. And the paper is actually pulling away from the book. It's nearly off. I'm just squeezing a little bit more out as I go and turn it around again. It is so worth it to take your time to get this off. There it comes. Bingo. And you can see that that's an envelope that they've used back to front and they've glued it on with the flap at the back and then just glued this ticket over the top rather than you know have a pocket like this one. So that's a different method that they've used and this one dates back to the um, it dates back before the 1984 I've worked it out to be about 1981 approximately maybe 82 Okay, so there's one. See how that's dried already? And that's still a little damp there and it's drying. I could probably go further and get this paper off here with a little bit of care. And see that envelope looks like it could still work. So I might be lucky enough to get that off. I'll give that a go later on. And we'll go to the second book. This one, like I said, it's glued down really well. So I've just got that one little point here that I can go in from. So I'll start, I'll start by letting the liquid soak in. Depending on the glue they use, this one seems to be coming off easy. Well, easier than the other one, it's not ripping the paper of the book. Sorry if my hand's in the way, but it's the only way I can do it without damaging my envelope. You see I'm being a bit careful here at the bottom because it's got the fold of the envelope at the bottom. I'm pulling with my left hand here, I'm pulling the envelope just ever so slightly as I push with the um, scraper. Because what you, you want to do is make sure it's folded, not creased. This one I've got to wet a lot more than the last one. It does evaporate pretty quick, so you've got to keep just, I'm just giving little gentle squeezes here as I go. I can't come in from the other side because remember it was glued right down. So I'm just going all the way across with this one. And this will dry pretty quickly. I can just get my vintage bone folder. I use this for my leather work. And I'll just air that out and you watch that dry. 
pretty quickly. I'm just sort of helping it along a bit. So it evaporates really well and it does not damage the envelope or the paper. It's amazing. So if you've got some books with these little library cards envelopes on the back, this is how you get them off. They're still drying. So I won't put that down until it dries. So now I've got myself three cards. When that's totally dry, I'll lay that down to flatten out. But I've got no creases in it, no damage, and it looks just like it did when it was glued to the page. So now I can use that in my junk journal. I've got three of them to use in my junk journal. Undo. Give it a try. I'm just going to give this sticker a try as well. See if I'm lucky enough to be able to get it off. Look at that, it's peeling off easy. It's just got to be pretty wet. No forcing, just little gentle helps. Keep it wet right at the point of where you're pulling up the sticker. And because it's so old, this sticker, it's lost a little bit of its tacky anyway. So it is coming off quite easy, much easier than I thought because it was glued down what I thought was pretty hard, but it's not. And there I have another piece of ephemera for my junk journal. 1971. So that one's 48 years old. See, no damage whatsoever. And even see the little bit of the gum, the gum glue. And that's an old fashioned glue, that one. This stuff works really well. I'm Donna from Artcraft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.